All right, well, welcome back, folks. This is your host, ID Jester. Thanks for joining me. Uh, yeah, so we had a little meltdown there. Recording decided to stop instead of being go on pause. So we started a new episode here. All right, so we are at Holobron. Holobron? All right, we get to go now. It's our go. Are these our units? No. That's sad. It makes me sad. Call me Daddy! Now, we should have a crushing attack on the enemy. Eliminated them. Excellent. Brought in some more units. That's not good. We have to... Fill our ranks here. Question is, do we bring in our elite units? Yes. We will risk one of our elites. All right. You. Square up these guys. And then you shoot them in the face. And then you try to do something with them. Average attack, average, average. All right, we'll go after him. Nah. You try to crush them. All right, another unit eliminated. Good. He's down to one cavalry unit. We have plenty of other units. The problem is we probably have another army coming in to attack us. <sighs> um, you... Weak attack. Average attack. Yes. Alright, so we brought it in the left flank. He routed us. Disrupted us. Oh no, he eliminated. Oh, he eliminated both of our good artillery units. Ah. Uh, all right, we're preparing in this pursuit. It's one versus one. We will decline pursuit. All right, so up to combat rating three. So we lost one cavalry and two artillery. Not good. Our two artillery are was the horse artillery. He goes to artillery, cavalry, and two, four, five infantry. I would say that was probably a good attack for him. See, but Russia can still come in with all of his units. And we still got a card for that. Now he's coming in with his 20. So we can choose to run away. He has 17 infantry, three cavalry, and no artillery. We have 11, three, and two. He can try to overwhelm us with his infantry, but we will defend. We will defend Vienna. All right, he's got no artillery whatsoever. There we go. I believe the rule is as long as Napoleon, you can have your leaders die in combat. It's just a random thing that happens. Uh, but if Napoleon has at least one of his elite guard units um, as a reserve, then Napoleon cannot die, I believe is the rule. And then he goes first, huh? Hmm, okay. Well, we have a crushing attack right off the bat. And we'll eliminate your unit that came up. What else do you want to do? Nothing? Cowards? Disrupted him. Cavalry. We need to take out those cavalry. Um, I will... 
Hmm. Hmm. Do we push on the left? No, because we don't have any artillery. Um. Pass. He brings up. Okay. Well, in that case, we have an excellent plus seven attack. And eliminated him as well. Do you want to push up anybody else? He'll probably just bring a guy down. Now we could push. I don't think we need to push, though. All right, he keeps bringing units. We will square him up. Then, all right, so we eliminated three of his units. So there was his advantage right there, gone. He had more infantry than us. Um, two activations left. We'll pass. We'll pass. Yep, he's going to get to charge us. Point blank. All right, that's fine. We're going to fight. All right, we get to go first? Yes. All right. <clears throat> That's just regular infantry. This is also regular infantry. We have much better quality than he does at this point. I think. I'm worried these guys are going to come in and attack us. So, um, maybe it was a good idea to pull that guy out, actually. And that was an accident again. <laughs> Bring that guy in. Another crushing attack on the enemy. Really? Three attacks, nothing happens. Not good, not good at all. All right, well. Square that guy up. He's gonna be in trouble. Alright, eliminated another one of his units. Great. Routed him. That means we can push on the left flank here. One activation left. Oh, another unit eliminated. I like to see that. But now he gets to do a whole bunch of stuff. But his troops are going down pretty quickly, so good to see that. Ugh. He's gonna push that left flank hard. We can't move units up until the beginning of the fight, so we will fight. We recovered, we recovered, we recovered. This guy did not recover. He's only got two reserves there, huh? We pulled our artillery out. Might have been a good decision. disrupted him and eliminated him and he brings in another one all right we can't do that but we can do this another unit eliminated yes just send more guys to the meat grinder huh Go 
square up one of his guys. Yeah. There's in another guy. That's a crushing 11. That's a 9. We'll take the plus 9. Eliminate that guy. Disrupted unit can't come up and fight, which we know. Bring another guy up over here. Oh, we get to go again, huh? Damn. I almost don't want to go again. Disrupted him. Routed him. We get to go again. Um, good attack, excellent, all right, let's go with an excellent attack, all right, it's four units eliminated, two routed, I'd like to see that, now, hmm, pass the initiative, so he slid that guy over, And now he's sliding guys over to the right flank. I guess I, when I mentioned that disrupted cavalry can't come up and fight, infantry can, because they're shooting, you know, from a distance, I guess. So that's a good attack. He's got five stupid activations left. Hmm. He's to himself, which is good. Two routed units. Let's fight again. Come on. Don't run away. Good, it's not. Maybe. We recovered a bunch of units. He recovered a bunch. Nothing. Nothing. We didn't re recover our horse unit. He didn't recover his horse unit either, though. Call me, Square these guys up, and then we're gonna push. Oh my god, I don't believe that. Three activations to go. Alright, we'll... What do we have here? Excellent attack. Oh, no, no. He routed our cavalry. That might be okay, though. Uh, no, we want this guy to come in. Yeah, and we're gonna bring our cavalry, or our artillery, back here and just shoot these guys. Now that we've got a nice line, ah, eliminating this. Ah. 
I'd like to get rid of his... Oh, he's retreating. New combat rating is three. So we lost one infantry. They lost one Russian and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Prussian or Austrian, I forget. This has been a heck of a time trying to hold on to Austria here, but we've kicked both of his armies out. Imperial Guard, we can convert somebody to another. He used two political points. Now he's trying to convert them over. So depending on their level, zero is 25% chance. If it's one, is 15. If it's two, it's 5%. And the Prussia is rejected. Good, Prussia. Oh, shit. Here comes... Uh, we will try to retreat if we can. Yes, good if we did. And Russia's bringing in more units. Okay. Uh, if he comes in with another 13 units. The fleet has come back. Austria has been defeated. You have humbled the mighty Austrian Empire. Your troops have occupied Vienna. Essentially, you have now abased your commands. Diplomacy has reduced Austria to the status of friendly neutral power. This status will last for nine turns. We get another ooh, good terrain card. Minor nations join. Okay, so we've got a few cards there. And now all the Russian units are going to have to go home. Because they're in, Austria basically says, we give up, uh, we don't want you fighting on our territory, so you're going to have to go home. Alright, so we have a situation up here that needs rectified. <clears throat> Pretty much immediately. We have five activations. He's got 12 units, one artillery, one cav. We have six units. None of them are very good though. We can move him back a space, bring this guy up. So I think we want to, we could bring this guy up and this guy and combine them. Keep moving this guy over. We do need to come up here to the north. So is Napoleon going to go up there? Or should we get a different army together up there? I think we will bring him up there. This guy can go there. And then next turn they can both move up there. This guy will move. Yeah. And this guy will move. Yeah. This guy will move there as well, and we will hopefully combine them. There we go. And if we had a unit in this space, we have no activations left, we could actually create the Kingdom of Bavaria. Let's look at our stat points here, shall we? 65 for French, 56 for Great Britain. So we do have the Bavarian card, so this country and this country and Austria has to be neutral. So we'll do that next turn. No, we won't do it next turn because next turn is dead of winter. And if you move any units, you have all kinds of problems. So we can create another horse artillery. Um, we could actually play this card. Um, might recruit minor. Let's 
select the region. So, I believe... Select this region. No. Uh, Hanover, Mecklenburg, Westphalia, Hesseburg, Braden, Wittenberg, Bavaria. Okay, so this one, this one, this one. Not that one. Nothing that we're in currently. God, if we were here or here. Okay, well, we'll wait till next turn to... No, it'll be two turns from now. Damn it. Uh, oh, if we occupy... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what's on our next page? Oh, we got quite a few here. Imperial Guards. All right, let's cast that. Obviously. There we go. On Napoleon's army. Let's see what else we have here to spend. We can try to convert them. We can try to convert Venice actually right um, go over um, choose a minor nation which currently has fresh troops in it right there that is now ours <laughs> and up here I think is Britain or um, Germany I mean Becklenburg Hanover Westphalia Hesselberg, Saxony, Berlin, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five. This one might not be in it. This one, this one, this one. This one, this one, and that one. So we need to go to war with these guys, kick them out. First, we gotta fight the French. All right, anything else? Got a whole bunch of cards to play. Good defense. Recruit minor nation troops. Warsaw. We can add some skirmishers. Let's do that. We're actually going to add them up here in this guy's army. There we go. So they're skirmishers. So if the enemy comes up adjacent to them, I believe they have a better attack against them, is what skirmishers do. Um, we can get two units. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do... What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I guess we'll get the artillery because our artillery was pretty much decimated. So we do have a leader here. We could ferry these guys up, but um, what other event cards do we have? Horse artillery. We gotta wait till we get a couple more of those. All right. Alright, we are done with this turn, ladies and gentlemen. Done, I say. Ooh, f ooh, oh, two good choices. Horse artillery and forced march. <sighs> I think we need a forced march card because we need to be able to move our armies quickly at a moment's notice. Oh, shoot, I forgot to spend our points too. Bless it. So Prussia is now at war with us. Uh, oh good, he's going to go there, which is... Uh, not good. So now Russia can come across here, because now... 
Wow, that was really bad. Let's see, did we have any political points? We did have political points. Damn it, I could have influenced them a little bit better. All right, um, we're gonna spend two on Germany. We want these guys to stay neutral to us. All right, so. With this guy here, this guy here, that's two activations. Then we're gonna have to bring Um, hmm. Well, first things first. Uh, oh, winter attrition. That's right. Damn it. If we move anybody, they take a winter attrition and possibly use lose some units. No. What we'll do is we have a card that we will play. Consolidate the Empire. Basically, if we don't move anybody at all during our turn, we can get four victory points. So we'll do that. And end our turn. See what he does. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. We can bring in um, units from an adjacent army for a battle. Let's do that. So if we're available, we can get uh, seven new units. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our new front squadron sent there. Oh, why did one go there? That's ridiculous. And everybody else is getting new units as well. So, <clears throat> all right, we have to take over Berlin and kick out all of the Russian units because if they come across and join in the fight, we are in, going to be in trouble, I believe. So you go there, you go there. So you'll be fighting the British there. So militia, I just put you out of the way. You, all right, so we can take you. And now we can take our leader. Our leader in with these guys there. No, god damn it. All right. We got some cavalry and some artillery. We need to get these guys up to the front line pretty quickly. We do have this army here as well. All right, so when we only have one more activation, we definitely, absolutely have to bring up Napoleon. Let's see what event cards we ended up getting. Anything? Horse artillery, but... Hmm. Are these both light? No, that's a heavy. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to get him up to... Uh, let's see. What's this guy have? He has... A light. And a light. Yes. Let's see if we can play that card on him. Select that unit and select that unit as well. There we go. Do have the good defensive chart here. So plus two rating for infantry, plus two rating for artillery, plus two rating for infantry, corpse, plus two for cavalry. 
randomly places one to three terrain pieces on the side of the battle line of the player with this card. Okay. Well, having this British unit here is kind of a pain in the ass. Let's just make sure we don't have anything. All right, looks good. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Let's... Kingdom of Spain declared. French troops must occupy Madrid. All Spanish regions join the French Empire, and Spain cannot be independent until liberated. You will gain two allied units in Madrid. <sighs> We'd have to go into Madrid. No, we don't want to. I don't think we even want to mess with Spain. Could have come out, maybe done an attack. Whoa, enemy fleet is attack. Oh my gosh. What? What? Oh, because he went to the region with our ship. Yes, alright. Well, this will be a quick battle, though. Oh, he actually damaged his ship, though. Fighting that around. Oh, he captured it. Even worse, he could have sunk it. That would have been better. That was not good. He must have went into... Yes, he went into Holland there and kicked us out of Holland. Damn it! Well, eventually we're going to get more ships and we're going to come in and we're going to keep his butt. This card can be played when a minor nation is part of the French Empire is occupied by British amateurs. Playing this card removes that nation from the French Empire. What? Oh, he's taking this away. Good job. Bastard. <sighs> well, you're going to feel the brunt of our attack here in a, um, maybe not in a minute. Damn it. I was going to double it, move up there. Could double move over here. Take out this big stack of units before he has a chance to. No, I cannot do. Yes, I can. I can go here, then here. When you do the double move, you can't double move into enemy territory, I believe is the way it is. All right, so you have six activations. Now that's a little better. So. You gotta combine with, you gotta get your butt up here and combine with this guy here and, oops. And you can move here. And now we can play our event card. Bavaria. And that is turned to us. We got some nice German units joining us because we created the kingdom of Bavaria. Oh, I love their, their, Donuts, Bavarian. Mmm, yum. All right, we'll be back in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.